What's going on everybody? My name is Paul. Thank you for joining me here at All In Today. So today we are going to be starting our new series with Season 1, Episode 1 of Let's Make a Cult. As you can see, we are playing Cultist Simulator. This is a game that came out last year. It was made by the people who did a game called Sunless Sea. If you know what it is, it's very cool. If not, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll pretty much get what type of game it is. Though this is honestly nothing like that. This is a card game, which is weird to say, but you're building a cult by playing this, this, I, this, it, it's really hard to explain. So let's just get in there and I'll show you. I've only done one run of it and I lost horribly. Um, so that's going to be the thing about the, you know, the series and the seasons. Each season is going to be of that person that I am. Um, and so we're not going to purge the save because when you first play the game, you start with nothing. But if I hit continue, what you'll see is now I can at least choose a profession, a legacy, a profession. You couldn't do that before. Like, again, you start with nothing. You just start with a bunch of cards. Um, this is going to be a very text heavy game. This is a this is very much a game of building a story and kind of making decisions on the fly. Um, so there's not really any action, but again, you're here for the creepy story and to see what's about to happen next. Um, also, they've got three pieces of DLC, and that's what the later seasons are going to be. Um, my first one is going to be something here, and then, of course, I'll do it's Dancer, Priest, and Ghoul or something like that. So that'll be the la later seasons. But for the first season, we're going to choose one of these. Um, I haven't really looked through any of them, so I'm going to be, we're going to be going, uh, just like this. Sorry, I was looking. Um, so, and this is the cards, of course, that you'll be starting with. Detective, I am an inspector in the Capitol's police, charged with the investigation of the most vile and wretched things that one human does to another. That sounds pretty cool. Bright young thing, endowed from birth with wealth and talent, a life of ease, comfort, and, uh, delight stretches ahead like an amber carpet. Meh. Physician, as the patient descended into the final delirium, I'm uh, into the final delirium. I made copious notes in the buzzing heat of the night. I read, re I reread those notes, and they began at last to make a kind of sense. So, to me, the most interesting thing here is either detective or physician. Now, I will say, last time I had a detective who was on my ass pretty much the whole time, and he, and that's actually one of the reasons I ended up losing. There's multiple ways to lose in this game is your health can run out and you can die if you go three turns with dread you can lose or if somebody finds out about your cult so i think that actually being a detective would be more helpful but i also like the idea of a physician a physician who had a crazy patient come in and that's kind of what started this thing so in my mind i'm going to be a physician who this guy came in, started talking about some cult or whatever that interested us in the cult, and that's how we then begin a cult of our own. We descent, our descent into madness is due to us being a physician, and you know, kind of like patient zero infecting us, you know, that type of thing. Though, I mean, a detective would be cool too because that same kind of thing could happen. We could follow the rabbit trail down but we're already kind of do there's another game called the sinking city that i'm doing that is pretty much exactly that a detective so we're gonna go the physician route we're already doing sinking city so let's go the physician route also i've got my coffee all right physician today is the day i return to my post at the institute at the institute i have a position and reputation that should mean something but i'm beginning to dream of something else so what you start off with as you, you, you've got your health points your uh, reason points i forget what this is this is like inspiration points or something like that and then you got your money obviously we have no money we have nothing to start off with you have to we have to earn everything and so click name of the physician we're gonna call him frederick Bramblebottom. Frederick Bramblebottom. I think it's a good name for a physician. 
so as you can see uh, thing things will start happening once we actually click this and at any time you can pause go normal speed or fast forward so this is our job we have to work in order to make money but there's also other things that we can work at to do uh, as well like you can work out how things are happening earn a living or practice the invisible arts okay so if you click this this will show you what you'll be able to do if we put reason in here find work which will spare my body if not my mind this could and but once you use this reason card you're not going to be able to use it for a little bit so since we have a job we need to work this job and at most jobs you if you fail to show up a day then they then they fire you and you have to pretty much beg for that job back jn sombre was a difficult patient i had to take some time away after the business ended okay so this is uh, we had a patient that you know was difficult for us we stepped away from work this is us going back to work after going on leave administrative leave as you can see a timer is going to and at any time i can pause it and you can see that that timer is going to stop my notes spill from the desk drawer where I where I thrust them. Let's go ahead and let that run out. So we're gonna pause real quick. The patient spoke of things that could have that could have no meaning. The house without walls, the divided sun, the invisible light. But when I recall how they spoke of that invisible light, my heart surges. I can ignore the notes no longer. Time is now passing. So now we collect the notes. My own eyewitness account of the ghastly decline of J.N. Sinombre. My handwriting deteriorates as the account progresses. Unlock. Okay, so now. Now we're able to study. Now we have work and we have study. These are the two, these are the two things that we can do. We can put reason into it or, you know, anything else. So for our study, we can put reason into it. The world is awash with printed words. Even the newspaper contains knowledge sometimes. So if we put reason in here, now we're going to gain knowledge. Or what we could do is we could study the notes. As I began, and I think that's what we're going to do right now, is we're going to start off with reading notes. Remember, we have it paused right now. If I didn't, time would be moving forward. Now, as time passes, time the sundial shadow passes, I must have funds to live or I will become ill. So we're going to put this over here because we need to have funds in order to we need to pay our bills that every 60 seconds we're gonna have to have some money to pay so we we worked at the Institute I have finished early the director has been sympathetic but I must return to work full-time now all right so as you can see we know that we're gonna get funds out of this but we're also gonna get something else so this is this is just gonna keep coming back into our possession. We have our health. We have our funds. Um, health, of course, can deteriorate. This is my this is my body. There are other bodies, but this one is mine. And my mind needs it as fungus needs soul. With enough vitality, you can gain more health. So now, so as you can see right now, we have four stacks of reason. And that means that even you'll eventually see what that means where I, I won't go into that too much right now but here's what we need to do we need to go back to work we need to constantly be working there is a dank and clinging smell to the institution halls and never quite leaves one perhaps it is the paint perhaps it is the patience perhaps it's something in the walls so let's go ahead and start that and we're also going to study start that as I begin to read, I recall the light in the patient's eyes and the music in their voice, but also the smell of the room that where they lay. So now we have two things working. One thing is going to take 60 seconds, one's going to take 30. Let's go ahead. As you can see, we have saving right here. I don't know how to mass move something. I should probably look into that. So let's fast forward because we have things that need to be done and we're just kind of sitting here otherwise. Right, so the first thing is almost done so now let's pause so now we have something called uh, this is dreams every night you're gonna have to go to sleep and sleep I am I am a crooked tree moth crawl my uh, cr uh, moths crawl my bark dawn begins although the light is invisible at it at its touch I straighten to reach the Sun okay, that was a little, that was weird. but anyways so we always have to you know dreams will also unlock other things 
Odd moments of since emerge I had almost forgotten that curious discursion on the way of the moorland, but now I realize it was the w uh, the way to moorland. It's really small, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time reading it. I've heard of this moorland, a dealer in the troublesome books, the rest of the ravings. It means no more than it did before. How can a house lack walls? What is the glory they yearn for? But I can already sense the dreams waiting for me in sleep. So we're going to collect that. So now, directions to Moreland. Cryptic directions to the obscure address of certain Moreland dealer and the rare sort of books. So we haven't unlocked it yet, but eventually we're going to be able to go out to different places. So if I hold this, you can see how now I can study this. The directions of Moreland's shop are cryptic. When one deals in the uh, that kinds of books, my correspondent studied, one must be circumspe uh, circumspect. Jesus Christ, the words are difficult. So, we still have reasons, funds, health, and now let's fast forward. This really isn't anything. It's just going to keep taking money from us, honestly. You don't really have to worry about this too much. I mean, you have to worry about the money, which sucks. So now, this is... I forgot what this is. Belief. I could give into dreams, but they will devour my reason. So these are cons uh, so this is something I can is empty. So we can use one of our reason. The watchman is the door in the eye. To unlock my own eye, there must be tiny sacrifice. So this kind of sucks because we we had four reason, and now we're about to lose one, but we'll gain something from it. This is something that I'm going to put over here. This isn't one of the main things. We don't really need to worry about this too much. This is just if we want to gain something. These are things that we have to worry about every turn. Now that I've found a location, I can explore it. So this is going to be... Uh, secret histories are layered beneath the ones we know, like the notes in rare wine. This is a detail from one of those histories. Explore with this scrap of knowledge may uncover secret locations in the capital. Okay, so now we can take this and we can find new locations. Uh, when I wake, my face is racked with tears of joy, the light cleaner than anything I touch in the wa uh, in waking life. But I saw what these dreams did to Jay and Sonombre at the end. It would not be wise or safe to follow them. Now, what I like about this more so far is there is an overarching story. The last one, there wasn't. That's why I'm glad that we didn't just start all, all the way new. Now we're actually following this physician's story, which I think is actually more interesting. Okay, we don't really care about dream right now. Now, contentment. I'm happy, I think. Contentment defends against dread, but contentment doesn't last. So as long as we have contentment, we're not gonna get dread, which you'll learn later on is a bad thing to have. You have dread for longer than three turns, it'll explain itself. You just, you don't want dread. An ill, an ill lit street, and at an ill lit, fa and fuck, an ill lit street at an ill favored bend in a in a lesser river. A soft yellow light through a grimy window. Miss Moreland nods as I enter, but doesn't rise. I never ask the names of my clients. She informs me before I have time to introduce myself. Explore is unlocked. Okay, so this is Moreland's shop. I got this last time. So more the dim premises of Miss Moreland, who deals in rare and sometimes dangerous books. So here I can go in and like get these books, but I have to pay for them. Like if I was to put this here, I would have to also put money and you can't get books for free. So what we're going to do is we're gonna put this right here and we're gonna start it. That's gonna take 60 seconds. And you, as you can see, we'll unlock new locations to go to. I have done some good. My patients are quieter than when I began. So let's go ahead and collect that. Now we have funds, which we could use next time to get a book, which we might just do. But also, it's great to have more funds, you know, more than just one, because as you said before, we have to pay. What is this? That sucks. Time to sun. So, let's go ahead and we're going to have to head back to work, as always. We're going to need to study. All right, we can't study that yet. Fresh air and exercise. So let's go ahead and pop up our um, knowledge. I must understand the influences at work. 
I'm to strengthen or to subvert them. You only have significant grounding in order to blah, 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 blah. One who watches does not sleep. One who sleep watches not. One who watches does not sleep. One who watches not. Use this. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think we're going to get much out of this, to be honest. Also, dreams. In times of uh, a special crisis, I might visit a discreet pharmacist to purchase a tincture. I don't know. A small thing of opium and make my dreams sweet, but only in times of a special uh, crisis. Okay, so it, I can pay for contentment. This this right here. Let's not do that. There was once a man who said that the sleep of reason produced monsters. Often it is healthy to let the mind wander in sleep, but if I keep dreaming sooner or later, some of the monsters will rise from our own fears. So let's use a let's use a reason just to see what's gonna happen with that. And then let's fast forward, because everything pretty much is gonna take 60 seconds, which is a long time. We, we really need a way to make more funds. Last time, I was able to actually get a raise at work, and that helped out a lot. So. Alright. So, bleak thoughts. Dark days, I must be careful not to let doubts creep in. Dread may provoke full-fledged despair. So, what this is going to do is it, now we can get dread. And so, if I get Dread for three turns, so if this goes 60 seconds with Dread in it for three times, I lose. That's the end of the game. Kindred Spirits. One of the one of the patients at the Institute also has a bandaged eye. A self-inflicted wound, they say. Perhaps we'll speak soon. Okay, so this is how you get more people. This is, these, so now as you can see, everything is opening up. These are our main modes of playing the game. We work. We study, we dream, we explore, and we talk to people. I wielded the knife in sleep. There's, uh, there is pain, but even in the pain is a sign false. I have bound the wound. I'll tell them it was an accident in the dream. I saw the door. Some of the day I'll pass. Okay, so pretty much what I did was I just cut my own eye off. I don't know why I did that, but I did that. All right. Ooh, we gained passion, which is good. It has occurred to me that I hold the key to wisdom. This card will allow you to win an enlightenment victory if uh, you upgrade it far enough. Dreaming about it might advance or change it. Okay, so this eventually we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to dream about. Sooner or later, every locksmith has the dream. Now we recite its seven phases. Nearly every summoning rite requires knock influence. Lore provided. So we might be able to dream about that. Let's move this over here. It has been expressed like this. Each hour has its color, but color exists. Yeah. So I know that you use this in some things. I'm just not sure what. So now we've explored and we just unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. As you can see, this place merits closer investigation. So this... A nonconformist enclave of paradox sect of a Calvinist offshoot, tucked away in the odd corner of the city. They belt out hymns with unsuitable gusto and the throat scraping lang uh, language that is very, very much not quite Latin. Congregation of St. Felix. So, this is somewhere we can uh, check out, which we might actually end up doing. It helps if you have people that you can. Uh... Shit, I forgot to read that. And living. So, we just got more funds, which is good. It's going to go right back to work. So now we have health and vitality. I've neglected my studies, but I stand a little straighter. Great. So now we have health, vitality. Exercise is something rare. has invigorated me. Use with another vitality to improve your abilities. So let's go ahead and do this again. So that we can get another one. You'll see why. Long walks kill cobwebs. Okay, so we didn't have anything else, so let's go ahead and fast forward. Oh shit, we weren't we weren't exploring. Let's go ahead and explore this. Uh, we don't have okay. So we actually need people to help us explore. So this is just gonna sit in the background for a little bit. 
though we do have funds so we can go ahead and buy a book and i say that we do have that running now we've woken from our dreams i dreamt of, of opening doors red doors and gold doors and doors of glass and doors bound like books and railway carriage doors and castle gates behind one was something i seek i woke with the slamming of doors still in my ears great so now we got our reason back restlessness actually sounds bad but it can help with a lot of stuff a restless longing has me i feel like i want to do something but what exactly so we're actually going to start dreaming of this Should I dedicate myself to my purpose or focus in? So we have this and we're so every once in a while you can kind of boost yourself along by adding extra cards, which is what we're doing here. The knock permits no seal and no isolation. It trusts us gleefully in the safety of ignorance. The knock is the principle of opening doors. So this could actually open some kind of door. Which it can either be good or bad. We will see. That's the thing. You don't really know what you're going to get with each turn. Sometimes it can be good. Sometimes it can be bad. You know, the more you play the game, the more you'll find out. I don't really know much enough. I mean, but that's just, that's just normal. Some days are better. Yep. Yeah. So we got contentment, which is good. We need that contentment because as long as we're content, we're not getting dread. The wolf despair prowls elsewhere. No dread empowers the, this despair. It's over for now. Great. That's awesome. That's awesome. A moment in time. So fleeting reminiscence. This is this is good too. You can actually use this in a couple different things. Where this is good so far. We have no dread. We're doing we're doing well. Okay. So at this point, now we have Kunir, the Gers astral. I don't like a Greek grammar, an essential weapon for ferocious struggle with challenging languages. So we we will actually study that in a little bit. My wound has healed, and so has theirs. They don't understand why they did it, but they uh, but they dreamt of me that night. We are connected. A hanger on. Usefully malleable, but they'll probably never amount to much. You might be able to recruit this acquaintance as a follower. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Here is someone I might work with, a companion or a follower, but first I must give them uh, something to follow. A, sus a, a society, a, so a sodility. An order a cult yes yeah, so right now we're working on building this cult also we need to explore fleeting reminiscence my thoughts will wander and I will follow old emotions will come to roost sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't your like old memories will guide you to new places most time this doesn't work but it's worth a shot all right and let's go normal phase because a lot of this isn't gonna take too much time Choose founding principles, tradition and compulsion, old and new, or both together. Add lore to determination uh, to determine your cult's founding principles. This is the only lore we have. This is pretty much, you know, where we took our eye out anyways. An occult society dedicated to the understanding of the light that leaks from a fiercer place. So that we just upped our notoriety, which sucks. I have begun my uh, my true work. The authorities will take an interest in it. I must be ready for them. You have begun to establish your cult. It will uh, it will need a little more before you can recruit your followers. All right. So now we have notoriety. Certain acts are not quickly forgotten. Notoriety may allow hunters to build a case against you, but actually sometimes notoriety can be a good thing. It's weird, but you'll understand later. We're gonna keep talking. Here's someone I might work with. It. Okay, so we're gonna keep talking to them. And let's see, fresh air, collect all. So now we have two things of vitality and we can combine those. I am a brim with vit vitality. If I devote some time to exercise, I'll benefit. So boom, we're gonna do that. We're back from work. Uh, we got our reasons we got our funds there's a dank and clay yeah we already know that. 
again you just you have to work every day that's something that if you forget it's really gonna screw you and I have forgot it before okay we're actually doing good on funds and reason and stuff right now we only have one notoriety so we're we're okay we're doing good and as you can like eventually <laughs> Frederick Bramblebottom is doing okay, but eventually you'll see that things can spiral out of control if you if you don't really keep if you don't keep a tight watch on it. Okay, so now we have dread. This is bad. We need to get dread is something that we uh, I've seen too much. A nameless gnawing fear has its teeth and hopes an existential horror. So that's something that we're gonna have to deal with. I've decided to remain as I am for now. So we can get rid of it with contentment, which is what we need to do. It might be a waste of contentment, but it'll work out. Okay, so that was pointless. We just got, so we don't need to keep talking to this person. There's nobody else that we can. Talking publicly about the invisible arts will attract attention. Perhaps that's what I want. Let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? So now we're talking publicly about stuff that should be secretive, but I never said I was a smart man. Memory is a maze. Okay. So now we have restlessness. And we can't really explore right now. I'm not willing to do that because it'll actually hurt us if we do that. Ah, let's do it one time and I can kind of show you, but it, it, it will hurt us. Usually it doesn't hurt you too bad, but... All right, let's see where we're going from here. The cult's not... I mean, you know, we, it, it takes time to start a cult. Okay. Our purpose demands we recognize truths that chill the spirit. I must give of myself. Okay. So, to start this cult, I have to give up one of my reason, which is going to suck. Because that brings me down to two. We already gave up one of our reason, but... Which, the less reason we have, the more crazy we're kind of becoming. Which isn't good since we're a physician, but it is what it is, you know? What can you do? Right. And so now I'm fatigued, which after 60 seconds, it'll be okay. I have found somewhere unusual. Uh, Acidius? S. Dysis Club. Dysis? I don't know what that says. A cabaret of occult reputation. Very cool. Okay, so I have to pay to go in. But we will. Because... Okay, so the entrance is lost beneath soft drapes of crimson cinnabar and incardinine above the door the club motto i can't read that uh, has been rendered as in tonight circle we fly until the fire enjoys us okay so that's going to take 15 seconds to do so things aren't spiraling out of control just yet and there goes our fun so now we only have like a dollar the wrong kind of attention the city is ripe with journalists yeah so what's gonna happen right now anytime it has a magnet it's gonna draw something uh, automatically it's probably gonna draw my notoriety which isn't good but what can you do yep as I said hopefully nothing comes of that the lights go down very gradually as the performance ends there is no applause we each drift in the streets alone with our dreams Open only certain nights of the week. It'll reopen soon. So we got contentment, which is good, but only lasts for 60 seconds. Light leaks through the cracks. My mind is brighter than it ever. The higher I rise, the more I see.
We don't really have anywhere to explore right now, honestly. So this is just gonna have to sit for a second, which there's nothing wrong with. You don't have to have each one of these going, but it helps if you do. Shit, dude. Starting a cult is... A cult with one member is only an unusual habit. I must have a recruit. Boom. First recruit. Look at there. We have started our cult. I've grown strong. Oh shit, I thought I hit this. I've grown stronger. I've gained health, but it'll be more difficult to gain health next time. Okay. So, now we have two health instead of one, which is good. So, as we study, we can we can gain more passion, gain more reason. So, if I wanted more reason, I could just keep doing that, which we we, we might do. I've benefited from exercise. Use this with two lessons learned to gain more health. Uh, I've actually forgot how to do lesson learn, but whatever. So now we're going to use one of our reasons to study. Uh, okay, so we get two phones. Damn it, I forgot to read. I'm sorry. Goof that up every time. All right, so we have, let's see. Our cult should be starting very soon. Oh shit, I almost forgot to, I almost forgot to work. Now, as you can see, there are many things that we can work on, but if you, if you miss a day, it can really goof you up. I have grown strong, but I must still devote my health to a day's work. To work then. Yeah, this is unskilled labor. We really don't, there's really honestly not much of a point in us doing that. I'd rather just stick with this. This is more so if you're like unskilled, like if you didn't choose one of the three starting things. Cause I really don't want to lose my job here. Um, everything's starting. Um, so we have 17 seconds. This cult should be starting soon. I don't know how this notoriety is about to go. It might suck. There's always someone who doesn't understand or who understands too well. This troublemaker may seek evidence. Okay, Wary Detective isn't that bad. He honestly doesn't bother you very much. Uh, this gentleman would much rather be left alone with his pipe in his Illustrated London News. But no, apparently some conjurer of abomination has to be hunted down like a mad dog. And apparently no one else can find the time. Which, he's not really much to worry about, honestly. The sun still moves, the wind still walks, my journals are the lavender trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fleeting memory. Even dread has its uses. So let's go ahead and see if we can get rid of dread. This actually, because we don't want, we do not want dread. Like, we don't want that. say we go back in here it's gonna take an entry fee but all right now come on baby start the cult jesus christ why does it take so long all right so the cult has started i have founded my cult this is a step to greater power use your cult to recruit and promote followers talk with followers damn it oh, I hit pause. Uh, use your cult to recruit and promote followers. Talk with followers about your cult to send them out in cult business. So now we have a pawn. This one is loyal but lacks initiative. Reason. Didn't. Okay, so now as you can see, my, I, I, I can't use my reason right now. Mirror of Glory. An occult society de dedicated to the understanding of light that leaks from the fiercer place. You can use cults with the with the talk verb to recruit or promote followers and send them out on errands to gather resources. A believer can be promoted to a disciple. A few gifted disciple can exalt, uh, exalt you even higher. Let's see your key. Found my way. Temporary headquarters. Okay, so let's collect all this. So now what we have, let's put all of our cult stuff together. That's pretty much it so now we have a temporary headquarters but eventually we can find another and this of course is this is all our culty stuff pawn not that great 
white moths eddy through the hall. They perch on the frames of wine glasses and sip. The uh, uh, the audience applauds the woman on the win yeah the woman on stage as if they had as if she has too many limbs. Moths crowd my arms, nestle against my shoulder. In a little while, I'll step outside and look at the clear, cold stars. Assume I dreamt the whole thing. The smokes of the club are treacherous. A buzzing of the brain. Uh, what? This can be used in some rites to summon minions, and some minions will leave it linger. Okay, so none of this we can really use right now. Contentment is great as always. We always want to have it. Um, but yeah, other than that, that is going to be the end of this episode. Um, hopefully you guys are really enjoying this game. I know it's a lot to take in at first. I like, I completely understand that, but eventually things are going to start rolling. And again, that's what this, we're, we are building a narrative. We are building towards something. Um, right now, it may, a lot of this may not, may not make a lot of sense, but it will, everything will start falling into place. Uh, so just stick with it. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's intrigued you enough because man, I really just from the even the first time I played this game I really enjoy it and I, I just love the places that it can go It's just the the stories are so crazy and it's kind of hard to it's it's kind of hard to Comprehend like all the stuff that is in this game like all the writing like there is just so much to it um, but yeah, so look on the next episode, we're going to pick up with Frederick Bramblebottom and see how this cult moves along. Hopefully, this detective, um, you know, he's not he he's not really going to stay on our case too much, but you never know what's going to pop up. Um, but if you like the video, please hit the like button. You know, it means a lot to me. It also lets me know if I'm on the right track or hit, hit the dislike button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think so far. If you're not already subbed to the channel, hit that sub button so that you know when the next episode goes live. Other than that, I appreciate you for stopping by. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.